Now this is going to be a little ad hoc video on the T-Rex uh, 450 SE type-ish, V1-ish. Um, here's my heli that was majorly crashed at Urcha. All the frames are broken. Um, so I'm going to go through a complete rebuild. And what I thought I'd do, I won't go into how this happened, but it wasn't me flying it that caused it. Uh, but anyway, it's pretty much totaled. I mean, motor mount bent, uh, all four frames, even the ESC got took out. So anyway, I'm going to rebuild it. And in part, in doing so, I'm going to just do a quickie ad hoc video on assembling a set of SE frames. So now my V1, I like the plastic blocks. They're lighter than the metal. Um, it can also service the bearings easier, so I just prefer the plastic blocks. These are V1 frames, but what I'm going to be rebuilding with is V2 frames. Since the bolt pattern is exactly the same, they will go on any of the V1 blocks, whether you use aluminum or the plastic. So what I bought was the Align Plastic Frame Refit Kit. I don't even know if Align makes it anymore. I got it at Ready Heli. Uh, they happen to have one in stock. Comes with the screws, all the all the parts. Comes with the blocks, but no bearings. So I put all new bearings and a tail drive gear in. By the way, even though this one's white, it is the step down uh, reduction gearing. Uh, the reason I go with white because it's from the XL or SA, and that does have the step down. But the output shaft is splined, so it holds this pulley better rather than just on the current SE. It's just glued on. I don't care for that. I've had it slip on me too many times. So the splined one from the XL works cool. All right. So I got all the bearings in the blocks. No big deal. Uh, the two bearings here and this whole assembly put together. And we're going to assemble the frames. So there's my rebuild. I'm going back with the plastic blocks, but on a set of V2 frames, okay? So the first step is to get your canopy pins on. Now, I usually, when I crash, don't usually break these, but if you don't want to use metal, I recommend the plastic ones here because the plastic ones will tear off rather than break your frames. Me, I'm going to go with the metal because uh, they came in the kit. Uh, the metal ones came in the refit kit. Okay, so go ahead and get those on. Pick your front left and right half. They have to be, you know, left and right. Get those on because they're harder to get on later uh, when the frames assemble. Okay, just like all my frame builds, what I'm going to do is build one half at a time. So the first step is let's go ahead and get the main bearings on and the tail drive assembly on and the boom block we'll do later. But get those on one side of the frame. We'll come back and review. Okay, so there we have it. One half of the upper frame is built. Now again, I want to stress, even though I'm building, even though these are V2 frames and plastic blocks, this build will be identical for an SE V1 or a V2. So now realize that the SE V1 and V2 come together, come in the kit already partially assembled. In other words, these frames are already put together, the uppers and the lowers. Uh, again, this is just to show you how to build one from scratch should you ever have to do a complete rebuild. Um, so I'm stressing that, but um, anyway, this applies to all of them, regardless of whether you got metal blocks or plastic blocks, okay, so I want to stress that. Anyway, get the bearing blocks on, okay, now note on this lower unit here that we only put one screw in here, because these two holes will be used with longer screws and these spacers, because this is where the lower frames attach, okay. So, uh, and, and here's an example, as you can see, these two here and the crashed one, these were these standoffs go here. So we don't put a screw in the lower frame there yet, okay? So now, at this point, you can go ahead and we'll assemble the other half, all right, and get it lined up. And then we'll go ahead and add the motor mount, a battery tray, and um, the rear spacer. The front spacer we won't put in yet, the front spacer up here, because we've got to get our servos in, all right? Anyway that's going to put together the upper frame so let's go ahead and get the other screws on this side and we'll come back and put the other parts on okay so there we have it we got the upper frame built no motor mount or anything in yet um, we can go ahead and mount the battery tray up here so let's do that and the screws are already on here now if this is an SE straight build again this will be pre-built but uh, again we're doing a rebuild so going to put the battery tray on now the motor mount and this cross member aren't used until we join the upper and lower half of the frame okay so those aren't going on just yet so what we need to do next let's go ahead and get the battery mount on but what we need to do next is we need to build the lower unit with the bottom tray like so so go ahead and attach both frame halves make sure you get a proper upper and lower okay to to the uh, base plate and then we'll get ready to join the two frames together <clears throat> now note the orientation 
Uh, the motor mount area is here, and this is the front of the heli, so make sure you don't get your frames backwards, okay? So go ahead and get your screws in. No need to put the screw back here because this is what holds the boom supports on, but get these screws here. There's three. There's two of them, one here, one here, and on the other side, get those on, and then we'll come back and do the two frame halves. Okay, so we got the lower frame on the plate. I also attached the motor mount here with uh, two screws. Uh, but I left it kind of loose because we need it. Uh, we need to get the frame aligned because uh, the top frame uh, attaches in between here. Okay, so I'll leave that kind of loose. And um, basically, now what we're going to do is we're going to join the upper halves. Now there's three locations you will join for now. These two holes here that attach here and here, and you'll need these little spacers to go between the frames and up front uh, at the motor mount here. Okay. So we need to we need to get the, uh, those in as well. All right. So that's how we're going to attach and line up our frames. And I'll come back and review. So you'll need one, two, three on one side, three on the other. It's easier just to do one side first and then the other side. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We'll come back and review. By the way, one thing I found easier to do was to get the front ones first with the motor mount and the spacers. And uh, I got some Loctite in them, but they're not quite tight yet. And then this will allow us to line up these with spacers kind of like a clam shell. So I just found it easier to do it that way rather than start with the back and then fumble around trying to get all this stuff lined up in the front. All right. So go ahead and do that. We'll get these uh, four screws in in the back here with the spacers. Okay, that's it. SE V1, V2 frame. This is my hybrid V2 frames. <clears throat> V2 frames on the Align V1 plastic block kit. But again, all of this would be the same whether it's a V1, V2, an XL upgrade frame that comes with the plastic blocks or um, an XL upgrade frame that comes with the metal blocks. Assembly is identical. So we got them joined here. Now we haven't put the spacer, these other spacers here because the boom block goes here. I'm going to do the boom block last after I get all my servos and stuff in. But we did also install this tie bar right here and its spacers on this hooked area of the frame. So that got installed. So basically that's it. The frame is done and you can continue on with the rest of your build. I probably I am going to do a video on servo installation since I never did one for the SE originally. So we'll come back and uh, uh, you'll see another video on that. Anyway, the rest of this stuff is used for putting on the boom block um, and uh, that kind of stuff. So basically that's it. We're done.